Hi guys, my name is Becca and I am the marketing director at Blogettes. I have been here about two years and I started working in like the blogging department as like a part-time editing assistant and then I transitioned my way into a full-time content moderator so I was doing all the social media and various uh, projects like regarding content and now I'm the marketing director and I've been doing it for about a year and ever since I've been at Blogettes I've also been doing a couple different freelance projects on the side just for extra income and because I love it. Uh, and today I'm going to teach you guys about how I got started and um, how you guys can improve your portfolios and where to look for projects so that you can make extra money too. So when I graduated from college a little over two years ago, I actually took a job uh, through Target and I was so excited. I love Target. I love shopping at Target and I ended up hating the job and I quit uh, even after two months without a job lined up. And I was just like so miserable that I was just like, I have to get out of there. And so I had to hustle right when I quit that job. So I started creating profiles on various freelancing websites because I knew I had these social media skills that I had accrued throughout my college career. And so that's kind of like how it started. I got started on like a need basis while I was applying for other jobs in social media. And then I've just kept some of my clients and kept some of my projects ever since. And it's been like a great way for me to build my portfolio and build my skills while making money on the side. So today I'm going to share six tips with you guys so that you can get started on your freelancing career as well. My first tip is to find something that you are really good at that you can monetize. And so for me that was social media and I've also dabbled with doing freelance photography, freelance copywriting, freelance SEO writing, but my main focus is social media. I want people to know that I am a social media expert and that they can come to me if they need help. Once you've decided the skill that you know you want to uh, use to become a freelancer, then you need to find your niche. You are going to have tons and tons of projects out there that you're going to find, but not all of them are going to be a good fit for you, so you need to reflect and figure out what will be best. So when I started initially, um, I was only working with female run businesses and female run business owners and that was a great way for me to segue into working with bigger brands and um, bigger companies as well. In order to look reputable and that you know your stuff, you need to brand yourself. So the first thing I did was I created a website with a portfolio and all of my different services. So I listed some of my services, I listed my starting price points, and then I also listed some clients I'd worked for and some internships I had had in social media while I was in college. This way when clients, future potential clients, come to your website, they can see what you're capable of and how it's like to work with you. Once your website is published and you have a couple friends look it over, I would then add that link to your bio and your Instagram so that you can start gaining a little bit of traction. Um, the scariest thing will probably be letting your friends and family know that you've started to do this. It feels a little bit awkward doing like a little self-promotion, but um, adding it to your Instagram bio is like a really easy soft launch way to get word out there that this is something that you're working on. And then as you get more comfortable with your skills and with your pricing and your process, then you can start you know, promoting it more to your audience. I get asked all the time is how did I know how to charge my clients and when I first started I probably was way undercutting myself so I would take a look uh, or my recommendation for you guys is to get a really good understanding of what the client wants and then try and divide that into how many hours it's going to be for you so one thing you'll need to consider when getting paid as a freelancer is you're gonna be a 1099 for tax purposes so all the money they're paying you, you have to save about 25% of it just for tax purposes. So right off the bat, you need to be charging 25% more than you might have made at any other job, um, you know, as a non-freelancer. So um, when I think I first started, I was like at $14 an hour, and that was just like so undercutting myself. I got myself into a rut. Um, and later down the line, if you want to do freelancing full time, you're going to have to take into consideration paying for your own healthcare, paying for all the upkeep of your own business and your um, website and different marketing that you want to do. So 
really take a look at um, how much you think your time is valued per hour, but I would not recommend charging your clients per hour. So say your client wants um, you to handle their social media on a monthly basis, I would give them a monthly rate that stays the same every single month. And you give them an estimation of how many posts that's gonna get them per week, how many captions that's gonna get for them, so that they have an expectation of what they're getting for how much they're paying you. And that, that way you might have slower months, you might have busier months with that client, but it's gonna even out in the end and you're gonna feel like you're getting your bucks worth for actually putting in that work outside. So this is just a brief overview of what my profile looks like. It's gonna tell you my skills, what time zone I'm in, and what um, a little bit about me as well. And you also have an option to place a video if you would like. I have a portfolio of some of the clients I've worked with in the past. I have some certification. I have um, employment history, education. So it's kind of just like a digital resume that um, potential clients and freelancers can look at if they're looking to work with you. And um, Freelancer also has a very similar platform and so does Guru. Um, if you guys aren't interested in creating profiles on sites like this, you can also check out various Facebook groups. Um, I'm in a couple of different ones just for entrepreneurs and social media marketers. And every now and then someone will post saying that they need help with social media or Facebook ads or copywriting. And so that's a great way for me to get exposure to new jobs as well. So lastly, I just wanted to show you guys how I set up my services and my portfolio on my website. So I'm going to go to my services tab and it's just going to load um, the various services I offer and then I put starting at so that um, depending on the client, I'm not promising them, you know, a particular price and if it's a big project, they don't expect like a, a smaller amount. And then I also have my portfolio and some testimonials as well and how it typically goes working with me. So I'm going to navigate to my portfolio. So I de detail a bit about my approach and um, you know what it project work, or what it's like to work with me on a social media project. And then I'll also include some of the clients past and present that I've worked with as well. Um, I put the bigger ones, ones that have been more long term and ones that have been a bit more intensive. And the ones that are a little bit smaller, you know, might have not been as uh, in depth with that client. And then I also offer the option to get a free quote if someone is interested in working with me and I'll link to this page on my Guru Freelancer and Upwork profile so that people can see that I'm legit and that I also have um, a website as well. So thanks so much for watching you guys. I hope that really helps you to get your freelancer career um, off on the right foot. Once you do get some clients in the door, you'll want to be sure to ask them for testimonials so that you have those on your website and that you can have really positive, happy clients and referrals when other potential clients ask you for them. So I hope um, you guys got a lot out of this and if you want to give this video a thumbs up, we would definitely appreciate it. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel and be sure to subscribe. Bye guys.